Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I am the almighty Zentaco, and today we're going to be learning how to make a CRT effect for our games. So if you're a younger person, uh, you might be asking just what the heck I'm talking about. What is a CRT? Um, a CRT is a cathode ray tube television. Um, that it's the big heavy televisions, think scan lines. Had lots of scan lines, which created a very old school aesthetic back in the day of like Nintendo and Super Nintendo and all that. So um, if you are making an old school game, you might want to apply a CRT effect to give it a sense of authenticity. So we're gonna go ahead and start a new frame. And uh, I'm gonna insert a backdrop object. I'm going to import an image. We're gonna stick an image from Atari's Pitfall in here. Uh, this is by Activision back before they made all of those terrible and repetitive shooters. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a background color of black. Now, <clears throat> um, to make this easy on us, let's go ahead and make another layer. So click on the new layer button. If you don't have the layer toolbar, uh, you can grab that by going over to, click on view toolbars, layer toolbar. <clears throat> so keep in mind that these are ordered sequentially. So one is, uh, the lower level and two is above. That means that <clears throat> anything on layer two will cover anything on layer one. All right, so click on layer two and we're gonna insert some objects. Two active objects is all we need for this to work. The first one we are going to call CRT curve. And the second one we are going to call CRT scan lines. Um, I lied, one more object, sorry guys. I'm a liar, what can I say? We're gonna call this one and boundary. No, we're gonna call it outline. <clears throat> Okie doke. So for the CRT curve, we are gonna need to import an image. Now this is a grayscale image, which I'm going to include in the description below that you can use for your uh, effect. But essentially it is a curved grayscale image and that is how the engine is gonna know exactly how to curve our uh, CRT. All right, so throw that over the game screen and it is properly matched. You wanna make sure that it is the size of this, the viewport, however big the viewport is. And for me, that's 640 by 480. Now, right now, if we run this, this is not gonna do anything. <clears throat> so we want this to be curved. And to do this, we are going to use some shaders. So I will also include links to the shaders down below. Now to apply a shader to this, click on the effects under the display options of our object select edit and we want to use the lens so as you see that is applied a curve to our viewport screen okay for the scan lines we just want to create a black box <clears throat> stick it over here in the corner and make it the same size as the viewport for us that's 640 by 480 now we're gonna go and add some code do a start a frame event and we need to make sure that this CRT scan line object is transparent to some degree. So go to effect, compatibility, set semi-transparency. And we're gonna make it something like 100. Okay, we need to do one more thing before this will do anything. Uh, we need to add a shader to this. So go to the CRT scan line object and click on effect, edit, and we want something called display. It's under effects, display. <clears throat> so this creates a sort of nice uh, a uh, scan line effect. We'll click on this object, select order, and say backward one. We want this behind the curve object because the scan lines would be curved. So go ahead and check it and see what it looks like. <clears throat> okay, so we can see some, uh, some scan lines. It's a little weak though. So we're gonna change the transparency from 100 to something a little less transparent, like 80. That's pretty good. Now keep in mind that this effect, um, the color of this object and how transparent it is will affect how washed out or darkened your image is uh, because you are having a slightly you know, black or white object. Okay, we're gonna import some art for the outline object. And this is essentially going to be the sort of CRT corners. 
So I will include this in the files. You will find them down below in the description. Okay, so this needs to be 640 by 480 as well. I'm gonna resize this. Now we got some corners and it looks much more like a CRT. Okay guys, so the last thing we're gonna do is create a uh, RF interference effect. Now this is something that used to happen on old CRT TVs. We had RF switches, which were the way we connected back before composite or HDMI. And they were prone to getting snowy artifacty effects caused by uh, interference from surrounding electronic information, like, you know, bleeding from uh, wires or, I guess not Wi-Fi, that wasn't around, but uh, phones and stuff, whatever. Just other devices would kind of jack with them and it would create a snowy effect. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna do this by inserting another object. I'm gonna call this CRT effect. And all this is gonna be is an object that holds some variables, okay? So we're gonna create an amp variable. <coughs> um, one will work for it. Um, we're gonna need a cooldown. And I think that's it. Now what we're gonna be doing is under the, dis the object with the display, the CRT scan lines, uh, we have some effect parameters. We have amplitude, periods, offset. Now offset is uh, essentially, it takes the scan lines and it moves them up or down by an offset value. So we're gonna animate this. We're gonna slowly, slowly change this. Also, periods is just how many scan lines there are. We're gonna leave that at 1,000. But amplitude is the one we're gonna to wanna to use for creating this sort of snowy effect. So let's go ahead and add some code. Let's do something X out of Y at random. We'll say one out of 100. <clears throat> one out of 100, and then we're gonna find out if the alterable value of cooldown is zero. What we're going to do is set the alterable value of cooldown to random 1000. Now this is essentially we're creating a random uh, time at which the snow will, uh, will take place. So every one out of 100 chances we are going to hit this cooldown with a random value. And then we're going to slowly bring this random value down. We're going to say alterable value, compare, find out if cooldown is greater than zero. And if it is, we're going to bring that down. So subtract one from it. Okay, now we need an always event. So we are always going to set the effect parameter of this object here, the CRT scan lines. So go to effect, a set, set effect parameter, and uh, we need the parameter name. Now to find that, you want to click on the CRT scan line and under each one of these effects, they have a name in parentheses. That's what you want to type in. So for amplitude, which is what we want to change, it's lowercase f, uh, uppercase a, amplitude. So let's go back and change this effect, set effect parameter. So it's f amplitude, make sure I spell it right. And we're going to do this on a sine wave. <clears throat> so I'm just going to say uh, sine of timer divided by hell, I don't know, 25. We're gonna probably have to change this. Times amp, we need to get grab the amp value that we created in that other object. And the reason we did that is simply so that we can click on the object and change that amp value manually to kind of get the effect we want. Actually though, we're gonna clamp this, let's edit this. Um, we're gonna type in max parentheses, over here put a comma, and then something like 0.05. And that means that it'll always give us the max. So if this um, if this value gets below 0.05, it'll return 0.05. Because if we get to zero, the scan lines go away. And that's not something that would actually happen with a CRT. You're gonna always have those scan lines. I did something wrong though. I got rid of the S, put that back in there. <laughs> Sign a timer, I was confused for a second. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is have the, uh, the offset change. So we're gonna go to effect. Set effect, set effect parameter. That is gonna be F offset. Boom. Now we're just gonna go back to this object here and we're gonna get the uh, effect value. So go to effect parameter and we wanna type in F offset. So we're grabbing the current value of F offset and we're just gonna add one to it. Okay, actually replace this uh, always event condition with a different condition. We're gonna find out if cooldown is greater than zero. One last thing, we want to find out if cooldown equals zero. Uh, 
<clears throat> and if cooldown equals zero, then we want to set the effect parameter of, of uh, F amplitude to just a static value, like zero point. I don't know what the default is, we'll say 0.05. All right, let's test this out and see how it works. I would say that looks pretty authentic. So if you've ever played like an old Atari game, this is kind of the crappy effect that your TV would do. Um, so yeah. That pretty much sums it up, guys. This is how you make a CRT effect in Click Team Fusion 2.5. Um, you might want to make some changes yourself, especially to uh, that grayscale object. The angle, uh, the bend of the screen isn't really quite right, but uh, you know, it it's good enough for a uh, for a tutorial. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Uh, see you guys around. Peace out.